the post cell process is the emergency, you start with the emergency response system, okay? This is a really important way that we get referrals from the client, local names and numbers of people. So this is how we, this is how this goes down. This is super, super important. So we pulled this form out, this um, sheet out, that is in your loaded ATM, and we point out, okay, so the next thing we have to do is we need to put your emergency contact list together, and this is what emergency contact list it is. Do you remember, like, when your children go to school, they have to fill out an emergency contact form card that has your number, maybe the number of a neighbor or someone close to you. So if anything happens to your child, they have different people they can get a hold of that can, you know, find you or help, you know, take care of your child. So this is, works exactly the same way because there are $7.4 billion of unpaid life insurance benefits. And do you know why that is? And they're going to say, oh, really? No, why is that? Well, because the insurance company doesn't know that the client died. All they know is the client stopped making their premium payment. So they don't know if the client intentionally lapsed their policy or if the client died because no one put forth a claim. So they're just gonna hold on to that money. Now, I'm sure, Joe, that when you die, don't you want your spouse to get the benefit of the policy? Yeah, I do, okay. Well. Here's what we're going to do. And, and by the way, we're not talking about next month or next year. We're talking 20 years from now. Like after you've moved, maybe you've lost your policy 20 years from now, we need to figure out who's going to call us that you died. Okay. Now, the, the company requires me to get at least 10 names. 20 is better because statistically one out of 20, 20 years from now is going to call us um, that you passed away so we can get the claim started. So the more people we put on here, the, the better opportunity that we're going to have to take care of the client, okay? Take care of you or take care of your beneficiary, I'm sorry. And so get your phone out and let's start writing names. So who'd be the first person on here? And then you just put your head down and keep writing. And who'd be the next one? And their phone number, next one. How do you know them? Their phone number, next one. And you just keep your head down Next, 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 next. Now, look, if they don't know a lot of people. They just hang around their family, and all they can give you is family. And it's like three people, like it happened tonight. It's like, well, I mean, there's, what can we do, right? All the rest of them are in other states. So anyway, so we get this information, and then we tell them what we're going to do. It's like, okay, let me tell you what we're going to do with this information. What I'm going to do is I'm going to need to – um, call them and sit down with them and give them the information, my information, the information of the insurance company, so they know who to call should you die. Okay, does that make sense? So the best way we know how to do it is for you to text them or for me to text them on your behalf um, a selfie picture of us. Let's take a picture. So we take a picture with the client, okay, take a picture with the client, and then we're going to um, – Either we're going to let them text it out or we're going to text it out to their people. Like right, you know, ideally it's good to do it right there. By the time you get to this part, it's very, it could be very late. So, um, so let me show you if I can pull it up. A way to do it where you don't have to rely on them to do the text. Ideally, it's good for them to do it, and you're motivating them to do it. We got some great training on this specific thing, too. So um, let me share this. All right. Um, I 
Okay, I did this with one of my clients. Oh, here it is. Okay. So here's, here's what I figured out. That when I can text their ERS referral, at least from my iPhone, I don't know how Android works, but I did a selfie with my client, Leonard, and I texted this text. Hi, Lynetta, my life insurance agent, Alex, is going to call you on my behalf. And before you ask, yes, everything is okay. He'll be calling from 937-554-2693. Please take this call. He's going to drop something off for me. So here's a cool way to do it. Um, I do a text replace. So iPhone, you can do a text replace. So I got the text replace for ERS1. I click on that. See, it's automatic. And then I just put the name in. Okay, is that cool or what? I love doing it. And so when the, the person receives, and I, I, I text it out to Leonard, Leonard and his ERS contact. In this case, it's Lynetta. Lynetta's his daughter. So I text it as if it's coming from Leonard. So when she receives it, she sees her father. See that picture? Maybe she has her father's picture, but she definitely has you know, Leonard Pitts. So it's going to be a familiar person on the list. And it's going to be my number, which is unfamiliar. And so when she opens it up, she sees her father, and then she sees a text coming from him. And she kind of doesn't know where it's coming from, but it sounds like it's come from him. And then notice that she said, okay, right? She said, okay. So she's kind of waiting for me to call her to set up a time to go over there. And I'll tell you what, man, you master this. You're never going to need another lead again because all your appointments, and you can set 30, 40 appointments a week, and our conversion rate on these ERS sit-downs, um, we got people doing 40 to 60% into another policy. Okay, see how powerful this is to be able to do this, right? So that is doing the ERS properly. Okay, does that make sense so far? And we've got some great training on it. So uh, I'm introducing you to it. But we've got some really great training on it, and we're going to get you, you know, so you can really hear how well it works, okay? So we do the emergency, excuse me, emergency response system. Okay, then we try to give them a prescription discount card, which I don't have one right here because I gave it to, oh, I know, there it is. This is another thing you're going to get in your, <laughs> in your loaded ATM when you, buy the sales materials you're going to get these already like loaded with cards i can pull one out i didn't realize it was that hard to do <laughs> i'll have to think of another way to do it so we get them a prescription discount card where they can get serious savings sometimes even better than their their pharma pharmacy benefits on their insurance okay they can go to a website to look up the the savings depending on what pharmacy. And so I tell them, look, we, th we're gonna give this to you for free, okay? And we're allowed to sponsor other people. Who else takes medications, okay? So that's another way to get referrals. Okay, we talk about safe money. Do you have a 401k or any other um, safe money for retirement that, that uh, you know, is out there that you're maybe wanting to get out of the market. So this is a way where we can determine if there is opportunities for annuities. And there are people that have money out there that they're thinking, man, I really need to do something with it. When we open up the opportunity to do this, now it doesn't matter if you do not know anything about annuities, okay? All you do is identify the opportunity. They say, well, yeah, as a matter of fact, I've got this 401k that's been sitting in this account in, in two companies ago, there's about 250000 in it. I've been thinking about it. i got to really move that. Oh, really? Well, maybe we can help you. We have a, a gentleman who is a registered investment advisor at our central office. What I can do is I can set up a call with you and him where we can go over um, your options with that money, if anything. We've got a, a number of different great products, fixed index products, 
that we can maybe move that money into, be able to preserve your gains and be able to guarantee growth when the market goes up and guarantee that you'll never lose money when the market goes down. Because there are three things that can happen to your money, Joe. It can either go up, it could stay the same, or it, will, it can go down. So of these three arrows, which do you not want to have happen to your money? Well, that down arrow, absolutely. So that means we need to talk to Chris. So here's what I need to do. I need to fill out the rest of the green sheet, this financial form. I need to fill out the rest of this information. I need for you to sign here, okay? And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set up a time where Chris is gonna call us. I'm gonna be here and I've got his calendar right here. So you actually go to his calendar. It's a Simply Book Me link that we're gonna get you. And you can actually get on his calendar. How about next week? Looks like there's an opening right at about 5.30 p.m. Do you think uh, you'd be available so we can have Chris call? Yeah, okay, I'm gonna book you right now. And I'm gonna be here too. Okay, great. Well, I will get this um, sent in to Chris, and then we'll see what we can do for you, if anything. You know, we may not be able to do anything for you, but we certainly will give it our best shot. Boom, you booked an annuity. And what Chris is gonna do, he's gonna call them, and you don't have to know nothing about annuities. He'll talk to them, figure out what we can do for them, then what he's gonna do is tell you, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna write um, American Equity um, Bonus Gold. This will be the best product for them. And then what you do is you come back to me and, Alex, I don't know how to write a bonus gold app. And then I will help you with that. And then you get the commission. Is that cool or what? Okay, final questions. Do you feel good about taking care of your family today for $149 a month? This is where we find buyer's remorse. Okay, this is where we find out if there's any hesitation. Okay, this is where we want them to feel comfortable with it. If there's any, if we feel, because by the time your bond report's so strong, you're going to feel whatever tension there is there. Okay, if there's any tension, then let's bring it down to option two or option one. Okay, but if they're, what basically we're going to give them a chance to sell us on why they're going to keep it. Okay, and another thing I might throw in there is like, Look, Christmas is coming. You're going to have bills in January from Christmas. Are you going to want to call me and tell me you want to cancel this because the $149 is too much for your budget? Okay. Final question. I want them to resell me on why they need it. Okay. Then the recruiting slide. Hey, by the way, do you know someone who may be interested in making an extra $500 a week helping families do what I just did for you? My manager is hiring people right now and interviewing. And you throw that out there and see if they're interested or they know someone interested. In fact, some of the top producers in our company were clients, kind of hair, like hair club for men, okay? So that, that's, you're done with this, but you're not done with the post sale, okay? You tell them you're gonna call them back, so you're gonna do the callback. So these are the things that happen after this. You tell them you're gonna call them back in two days. And what you tell them is like, you're probably, Joe and Mary, you're probably gonna have questions for me after I leave. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna call you back in two days. What I want you to do is write those questions down and then I'll call you back in two days so I can address whatever questions you might have, right? Now, why are you doing this? Because you wanna find buyer's remorse early. Because I promise you, if you call them back two weeks and tell them, hey, your policy looks like it got mailed to you. Did you receive it? Oh, yeah, we received it. But, Alex, we decided we didn't want this. But I can come over and help you figure out a better out. No, 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 we're done. See, two weeks later is not like two days later. So two days later, you call them back. Say, hey, Joe, Alex, got any questions for me? And they might have legitimate questions. But what you're looking for is, well, you know, Mary and I were just a little bit uncomfortable with that amount. Um, and I would say, say no more. Looks like I'll be done with my last appointment around 7 o'clock tonight. Tell you what, how about I drop by? We can sit down, revisit this. Take only about 15 minutes, and maybe we can find something better. But 
Let's sit down and talk about it. If you call them back in two days and find buyer's remorse, you have a chance to save that policy. That's why we wait. We'll wait two days, not two weeks, all right? So we tell them we're going to call them back, and then we call them back. Okay, that's how you create trust with people. Then what you do is that, okay, so you do the call back. Tell them you're going to call back, and then you show them your policy. Show them your policy. Okay, so this is what you do. Joe and Mary, would you like to see what your policy is going to look like? And they're going, huh? Yeah, I guess. Your pol and then you pull your policy out of your bag and you tell them, let's take a look at my policy that I got from my family. I got this right after I got my license. In fact, I wrote the application on December 24th, 1999. It got approved on December 28, 1999. So let me show you what your policy is going to look like. It's going to look very similar to mine. And all this time, you've been talking about this abstract concept of life insurance protecting the family. Now, you got a piece of document here that totally shows them that they're going to get something tangible. And all those kinesthetic people will be drooling. Right, and all those visual people seeing this, they'll be drooling. You know what I mean? Okay, and then the auditory people, you just do this, whack it, whack a whack at it, and they're like, oh, music to my ears. <laughs> so what I do is I'll step through with them. So I'll say, okay, your policy is going to have a policy statement page, the policy data. It's going to have your name, when it was issued, all this information here, and then it's have, it'll have a summary of your benefits. Okay, it'll spell it out right here, okay? And then there's, there's going to be a payment page that shows you over the next X number of years, you can see this goes out to 2054, crazy, what your costs are going to be on this policy, right? And then there's going to be other provisions in here, general provisions, okay, that you can, you know, if you want to, Cure insomnia, you can just read your policy. Has a conversion option where you convert this term to a, a permanent policy, methods of settlement. If you got any riders, like your riders are going to be explained in the rider section, like the terminal illness, critical illness, and chronic illness. That's going to be explained here. And when I when I come back here to deliver your policy, I'll explain that all in detail. Oh yeah, my children's term rider. Then the very last thing in your policy is going to be a copy of your application. So you're going to see the very application we filled out tonight is going to be right in your policy. See how this, you see this? How does this hit you, Joe? Does this feel good? <laughs> Remember, you're, you're using all the language things properly. So this is what you're going to receive. Now, why are you, why are you showing your policy? Because, gang, you're showing them that you believe in what you're doing because you bought a policy for your family. And nothing locks down your client like showing them that you believe what you're preaching. A good cook eats their own cooking, right? So, man, this will lock it down. Your place of persistency will go through the roof, I promise. Okay? The next thing you do is you send them a card. And it's not a thank you card. Because like, when was the last time your doctor sent you a thank you card? Okay, you're the doctor, they're the patient. I sent them a card saying, hey, it was great to meet you, Joe and Mary, and it's great to meet Sammy, um, Bridget, Sammy, Bridget, and Martha, and uh, Buddy and Princess. <laughs> I can't wait to see, you know, see you every year. Here's my car, some more cards. Let me know how I can help you. And you send them a card, and then you personally deliver the policy. So you look up in your pending on the website for that carrier you wrote, and you're going to find out when they mailed it. And so you call the client, hey, I saw that the company mailed you your policy. Did you receive it yet? Oh, yeah, Alex, you got it yesterday. All right, great. Hey, listen, I've got some time after my last appointment. I can swing by for about... 10, 15 minutes, we can open it up and check it out. And it's like opening up a Christmas gift. 
So I go over there, guess what I do? I do exactly what I did for my policy, except I do it for their policy. Okay, do you see how that works? It rocks, okay? So I personally deliver the policy, man, and then what you do is you, these people are automatically gonna be populated into your CRM system, which is part of the Alliance CRM program. And then you set up their email and text program, how you want it to look, how you want it to sound, and it'll, put, it'll mail it on their birthday, it'll send them texts, it'll set them, and then you're gonna get comments or you're gonna get responses to that that your client wants another policy. They're, they want you to come over or do a review. It's an opportunity to lock them in and to keep them on the books. CRM program rocks. So that is it, baby. You do your annual reviews, you call them, see how they're doing. Hey, how you doing, Joe? Alex, just wanna see how you doing? And half the time they want you to come over, you're by, they're wanting another policy. So that becomes a very, very lucrative opportunity to keep in touch with your clients. So that is it, gang.